So here's the, here's the demo you can do with students. You just need something that has two states. So you could do this with M&Ms. You can do it with, M&Ms have two states because there's an M on one side and not on the other. Um, uh, pennies, you can do this with pennies. Um, so I think what I'd like to do, the question is how many, how many groups to have. And why don't we do four, like uh, four pairs. And what I want to do is give you <clears throat> 25 m ms and your job is to put them all M side up. All right, so we have uh, four groups of 25. <clears throat> and all the M's are up. So you've got, uh, in, in, in this room, we have 100 uh, radioactive isotopes. M side up is radioactive. So what I want you to do next, if you've got exactly 25, is put them in your hand like this, <clears throat> and let them go down. So mix them up good, and then put them right back down. So what we're going to do is say this is one half-life. Because it's a 50-50 chance, it's one half-life. So just lay them all down. <clears throat> if the M side is up, they're still radioactive, put them in one pile. If the M side is down, they've decayed. And so what I want to keep up with, because what, what the plot is for is how many are radioactive. So um, my first data point, here I'll use this one. So we start off at t equals zero. We had 100 radioactive elements. So tell me how many m's you have. So how many m's do you have? 12. Okay, so for my first half-life, so you guys have 12. How many m's? 12. 12. 13. 13. Nine. Nine. <laughs> All right, so it's 24. That's 37. That's 46. Okay, so after one half-life, we have 46. And so, I don't know if you've used Desmos before. It's like the greatest graphing uh, utility in the world. And it's free, and it's great on phones. It's great. But I'm just going to put a data point for 0 and 100. And now I'm going to put this next data point uh, uh, up here. So now what you do is, you've got the M side downs, right? Those have already decayed. So the ones that are M side up, Take them, just the inside up ones. Take them, and we're going to go through one more decay. So roll them and count the M's that are left. Okay, so I got two data points. <clears throat> so let's go to T equals two. So how many M's left? Four. And M's? Six. Six. Five. One. One. <laughs> All right. So of the M's you have, just the M's, roll them again. So we're at roll three. And how many M's are left? Okay, let's do it again. And I can probably do this in my head, but I'm going to write it down anyway. So how many M's? Zero. Zero. So I'm down to three. Okay. Could you see this plot? <clears throat> Do you see this plot? So if you, oh, well, okay, now I like it. <clears throat> I figured it out after, after three hours. So this looks a lot like an exponential. And for our case, since the, the horizontal axis was coin flips or M&M um, &M flips, and so if we started with 100, I'd say, well, the half-life is about 50, was well, you know, right at this point. That's 147. That's really close to a half-life. So anyway, this just is a way that you can demonstrate. And, you know, you can use coins. You can use candy. You can start with 100. You can start with 1,000. 
fact, the more there are, the longer it'll take them to count them. And, um, but another thing about it is, even though you're down to one and two and zero, you still have all the M&Ms. They've just flipped. So the, the volume of M&Ms has not changed. So that's, the that's one of the nice things about the demo. It, it reinforces the fact that while uh, they change state, they don't go away. They got just as many M&Ms as we had earlier, they've just decayed into a slightly different M&M. Only other things that I'm going to show you, uh, there's a beta decay FET simulation that's pretty cool. Let me pull that up right quick. I put in my instructions to just add, so the only instructions are you, every time I click this add 10, it's going to put some more helium 3s that have not decayed. And so it has a half-life of about 12 years. And so what you can see here is that um, I think it reinforces a couple of things. One is the number of atoms does not change. And every time one decays, it just changes flavor. It goes from a hydrogen to a helium. And you can see that um, this is a beta minus decay. So you can see that electron being sent out. It also shows the anti-neutrino that we didn't talk about, but um, that's all right. So over time, there's just fewer and fewer and fewer to decay. So I, I guess it's just another way of kind of doing the M&Ms, except now this is something that's not a 50-50 slot. It's uh, something that happens um, over time. So it's kind of fun. <clears throat> I think all of the decays look, look about the same, so I won't do any more of them.